to be a relatively quick walkthrough of the Blue Mirror platform and what it can offer to you in the cybersecurity and more specifically the SIM and response space. Where I've brought you here is the summary dashboard, also the landing page for whenever you log into the Blue Mirror product. The only thing you have not seen so far is I went to either bluemirror.com or app.bluemirror.com and simply logged in. The goal of the summary dashboard is to give you purview into how many logs you're shipping to Blumira, a quick shortcut to detection rules, which I will cover a little bit later on, as well as any reports, which I will also cover later on. The goal of a good SIM and what we pride ourselves on here at Blumira is getting you into the platform, resolving what may have popped up as quickly as possible, and then getting you back to doing what you need to do. So the unresolved findings will be the, the majority of what we're showing here. You can simply click on one and go into it. I will cover that in a moment. Before I go into the findings, I want to talk quickly about how Blue Mirror ingests information. There are two main ways that Blue Mirror ingests information. The first and newest is the cloud connectors. If you happen to have one of the vendors on the screen now, you can ship information directly from said vendor directly to Blumira with no sensor required. When we talk about any on-premise appliances, uh, switches, uh, if you have a web server on-premise, ADFS server on-premise, we do support high hybrid ADFS deployments if you have an ADFS and server in the cloud, but for any of those on-premise network appliances, on-premise Windows servers, endpoints, and what, and what have you, this is where the other point of ingestion comes into play, which is the Blumira sensor. Today, the Blumira sensor is stood up on a vanilla Ubuntu 18 box in the sense of we don't need anything special pre-deployment other than a static IP, typically four cores, four gigs of RAM and 200 gig disk. You can get away with less. As you can see here within this environment, you can definitely get away with a lot less than what I had mentioned before. Anyway, when you deploy that vanilla sensor, you're gonna run one command given from Blumira, which will set up our, our concept of Docker on Docker, and then we'll take care of the rest of it for you. The goal here of the sensor, again, be giving you purview back into how many on-premise appliances are shipping logs into the sensor. The sensor's entire job within life is to collect logs locally and ship them up to the cloud. The only time that logs would be retained on the sensor is if your quote unquote fiber was to be cut, they will be stored on the sensor until the fiber is restored and then the disk will purge. So that is the, the whole job of the sensor very straightforward. I am happy to say that the sensor is to be treated as a disposable asset should you burn, need to burn down the sensor either accidentally or on purpose. You do not need to back up the config. All you would need to do to bring the sensor back to life is again deploy a vanilla Ubuntu VM, hit rebuild sensor. We here at Blumira will give you the command to redeploy that VM, and then we will also redeploy your modules as you had configured them beforehand. So all of that said, the cost to redeploy for most folks is a half an hour or less. Now, as we flip over into the fun part about Blue Mirror, which is the findings, this is where we bring your attention to something bad that has happened and or misconfiguration, what have you. Uh, this is where we're going to draw your attention and say, hey, this is what you need to fix. This here on the screen now was an alert that I had populated yesterday. In real time, we'll go ahead and we will pop up another alert. This here, what you're seeing on the screen now, is a honeypot that is also deployed within the Blue Mirror sensor, so it's not something you need to maintain. What I'm doing is I am generating three fake logins because there are no correct credentials. I'm gonna come back over here to the Blue Mirror dashboard, and I'll see that I have a new alert that has popped up today. I'll go ahead and click on Find View de find, Finding de Details, and I will go ahead and click Assign to Me. What I'm doing there is I'm telling whether it's just me, the rest of my team, or for auditing purposes, I'm the one working on this particular finding. So what I can do within a particular Blumira finding is three things. 
number one, I have an analysis. Hey, what happened? Where did it happen? Why did it happen? I have a playbook and the playbooks are built by Blue Mirror human beings in order to address the partnering with you aspect of a sim. When I say partnering with you, I mean, there are a lot of times where a good sim will give you information and then maybe you're not sure what to do with it. You're not quite sure of the classification. How important is this? This is why we give you playbooks. We're always there if you want to, you know, put a ticket in, talk with our security operations team. We're, no, we're never going to say no to that. But we give you playbooks because if you were in the situation of swapping out a new server, uh, particular group membership changes, or something rather typical that you deal with, you maybe don't need a security operations team to fill that particular void. However, when we talk about a P1 threat, uh, ransomware, lateral kill chain happening, password spraying, anything like that, that may be a situation where you do want to talk to a, the Blue Mirror Security Operations team. We do have a one hour response SLA for any P1 threat. So again, if something happens in the middle of the night, no worries, we're going to be there to talk you through it. So we'll say that this is an internal scanner because it was me, and I'll go ahead and close that playbook. Each playbook per data type and detection type is unique. Again, so if you're if something pops from G Suite or AWS or Windows Server or Web Server, those will all be unique and it will help you address the particular threat that has popped. This write a message box is your runway to talk directly to the Blue Mira support team as well as the Blue Mira security operations team. So you could simply write, hey team, I need help. I do not understand. And what's gonna happen is that particular message will go right over to our team and we will respond in kind. We found that by giving you a way to talk to our team directly within the product, you don't need to copy any context, create any screenshots and send them over. You are always welcome to email and call Blue Mirror support, but you have this tool here directly within the product to help you again, do what you need to do and get back to doing what you, things outside of Blue Mirror and or your SIM as fast as possible. This is a, again, a short synopsis of findings. Lastly, I want to cover the detection rules in the sense of how does Blumira do what we do? Whenever a unique data source, for example, Windows is presented to Blumira, we have a base layer of detections that will be enabled. You'll notice that are some are disabled. Again, we have found some to be a little bit noisy than others. We have leave, left those in the product so that you have the power to enable those should you want to. So you can go through here, and again, this will look different depending on what log types you're shipping, uh, but this is where you get to turn items on or off if you deem within your team that one is particularly too noisy. Last two things I want to cover is how Blue Mirror alerts. We support telephony, email, and again, because Teams, Slack, Discord for that matter, et cetera, all support email as a entry point. You again can make a service account within Blue Mira, and I'll come to the users here in just a moment. Uh, but you can pop in a, a service account email address, again, Teams being an example, and you can have these alerts dumped to a central repository. When we talk about Blue Mira administrators, this is where you would manage said administrators. And again, you can add service accounts as needed. Blue Mira administrators do not consume a license, so there's no extra cost to have 10 service accounts should you need that. One of the new features that we have within findings are detection filters. So if you have a particular VM that you use for testing purposes is not in production, maybe has a very specific type of finding that you don't want to see, uh, kind of whatever it is, you can filter out any particular given Blue Mirror finding without talking to Blue Mirror staff. So you can deem that what criteria you want to filter out Again, examples of filters down here, we could go by host name or uh, a device address, and we could just put that in there and how they want to filter it. And action is do not generate a finding. So again, these are ways that we want to give you not only speed to security, but that simplicity of security.
So with that said, there's a lot more that I could talk through here within the Blumera product. I appreciate your time and attention. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to support at bluemira.com uh, and we'll be happy to talk with you further. Have a great day.